Hey y'all, this is the TK Force with a uh, another installment of my Let's Roleplay Fallout 3 series. This is take four of this set. Let's give it another try, this time with feeling. Come on people, it's magic time. This time with less crashing of the game, please. Alright. Never took a very good look around this place. Oh, I took a look around the market, which seems to be closed. Is the rest of the... No, the rest of the city's not closed. Yes? Uh, didn't say anything, buddy. Let's see. Common room. St. Monica's Church. Science lab. Capital Preservation Society. Hmm. Yeah, I heard she was. Guess I'll take a look. Hmm, what do we have here? Hmm, pack of six. Hard lock. Empty. Hmm. Well, whatever. Somebody's room. Don't care about that. I'd steal things from these people, but I can't imagine they have anything better than what I have. I'm just going to assume that they don't. Science lab. Curious? Now they might have something interesting. Hmm. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. Don't mind me, I'm just over listening. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake... The technology in that android. What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Hmm. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Interesting. Very interesting. What do we what have do you want? here? Empty you there! Lockers. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? I'm not a male prostitute. Why does everybody assume that? <sighs> of course, it depends what exactly we're talking about here. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Interesting. Well, what's that got to do with me, exactly? 
You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Well. I'll be compensated for my services, right? Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Advanced technology. Interesting. I like the sound of that. Well, just consider me your own personal little Blade Runner, then. Excellent! Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me! I swear, I'll make him pay for that! Hmm, interesting. I have to go now. Of course you do. Let's take a listen to this message, shall we? Right. Let's Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. Self-determination is not a malfunction. All right, Johnny Five, I'll find you and bring you back. Ooh, a bobblehead. I like those. Nice. Uh, Ooh, nice. Hmm. Fresh fruit and vegetables. Hmm. I'll remember this place later when people are asleep. Maybe I'll come by for a snack. Midship deck, right? Where else do we have to visit this place that's reminding me more and more of a vault? I didn't like the vault. Marketplace Science Lab, Church, Capital Preservation Society. Why don't you look where you're going? Because I don't care. What do we have here? Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Nobody here. Teddy bear. Ooh. Interesting. Donation box. Hmm. Pre-war money. Better than nothing. 
What do we got here? Medics. Could be handy. And a hollow tank. I don't know what's on that. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need, I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. And the Blade Runner begins to pick up the scent. Interesting. What do we have here? Ooh, Seagraves home. That is interesting. Let's see. I apparently can get in here. I kind of thought he'd be in here sleeping, but uh, not apparently. Let's have a look, see around. Got to be something. Maybe on the compute? No. Right here. Remember that secret android project I told you about? Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy. Well, I didn't expect to find more on that right here. I was kind of... Ah, incriminating letter. That's a great thing to name something you just leave laying around. Apparently I'm a very good Blade Runner. I keep coming across this stuff. Let's see what else I come across. You've turned us down twice now, Holmes. This is my last appeal. We used to be friends. We used to do business together. All I want is to sell a product in Rivet City. I'm sure the city would use slaves to help rebuilding. Paradise Falls has slaves to sell a good price. You used to sell me wastelanders you captured before you got all full of yourself. You aren't as pure as you pretend. Help me and we can both make a nice profit. Eulogy Jones. Hmm, I like the sound of this eulogy guy. Uh, anything to steal? Let me check your toolbox. Oh, I'll take both those. Alright, time for me to uh, make another part. Be right back.